Hello, MechWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere modded. Let's keep going, guys. We have our Stalker in a little bit of disrepair right now. We are repairing it currently. And our other mechs need some time as well. So I think we're gonna go somewhere where we can place some more missions. And, uh, you know, wait for the repairs to be done. And then dive into the game again. Let me see, that's a 1 to 15 cluster. This is too easy, I believe. This is 1 to 3. No, I want to go up here. I want to see. Actually, wait a second. Maybe we go here. That's a beachhead 51. That's a war zone 11 and a heavy recon contract 92. I don't know if we can do that. I think I want to go to like 40 or something. Is there nothing like 40? No? Nothing? Nowhere? Mm, I mean, I can just grind money, but that's not fun. Let's not just grind the money in easy missions i think it is better to actually have a challenge to actually see what's on the battlefield and maybe at some point even get just a lot of salvage so that we can upgrade our max a little bit more also i wish there were more individual uh mech variants that would bring the new weapon systems and equipment parts because right now we are more or less playing against the stock mechs that are in the game and we cannot really salvage all of the goodies we have to buy them which i usually don't like because i like looting there is nothing in here. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna play that battlefield. Let's go up here. We just uh, wasted a bit of money. Travel time and um, uh, travel uh, cost is actually quite a big factor here. So that 150,000 seabills going over there and then another 150,000 coming back is gone now. That is... Actually, I have the feeling that in general the mod kind of gets to us money-wise. It's really crazy. The battle mech still needs repair. Oh boy, 44 days. Sure, whatever. Let's wait for it. Let me see. I'm gonna play the battlefield. Mm. Salvage bonus or money bonus? The money bonus gives us 4.5 million seabills. I mean, why would you ever pick salvage? Because we get 45 here. Okay, that's that's why. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do that. You have negotiation points left, even? Thank you. All right. That's a lot, guys. And it's a battlefield, so I believe there will be a lot of salvage on the board. I think I'm going to be playing the good old... Hmm, the good old Hunchback here. Sure, let's go Inferno. The Stalker needs some time off, so the Blackjack is going to be part of that, and then the Rifleman. All righty, guys. Um, one thing? I think we have a better pilot, right? Yep, that's you. All right, 20 out of 32. Seems good to me, guys. Alrighty. How much time? 13 days. And we have a lance again. Or let's say three quarters of a lance. It's not quite there yet. But hey, we will get there, guys. We will okay. certainly get there. It feels good being in the hunchback again. While the stalker is out of action for a while. And by the way, yeah, I read your comments, guys. I definitely read your comments. And this thing is too hot. The, the stalker, that is. And uh, a build that would just work. Would be two LRM-20s and six medium lasers. Hands down, I agree. Maybe we're gonna go with that. But uh, we need to repair first before we do anything else. By the way... This is how we play it here? Alrighty. So let's see how the heat build-up is here. Alright, you have been hot dropped near the base. Enemies are approaching. Uh, the goal is to eliminate all enemies, but there is also a base there that I should get? I don't know. Maybe I have to get there to trigger the event. Maybe not. Hello, Mr. Krabs. It's good to have you. We also have a Vulcan. We have a Hunchback. Nice. The good old AC-20 carrier. And here we are. Now we just have to wait for the enemies. And they are coming right now. New target. A Vindicator. A Spider. A Phoenix Hawk. Another Spider. All of them seem to be coming from one side. So I'm going to go and face them. Not directly, because, I mean, we're gonna wait for our friendlies to engage, and then we're gonna join the fight here. There it is, guys. Let's go. Let's do it. So we have the crab going in. We have... Wait a second. Oh, God, I cannot see anything here. We have a spider pretty close. I don't know if I can hit him here. Oh, and then the sound of the auto cannon 20 burst fire shooting already. It's so good. Hey, Spidey. Get overheated. Yeah, he is not gonna do anything. You know what? We're gonna do the same thing to the Phoenix Hawk. Just using our... Our overheat missiles. 
It is insane. Let's keep him hot. Let's go for headshot. That is not a headshot. Come on. A little higher, I guess. Nope. Anyway, we're just gonna kill that guy and ragdoll him like crazy. All right, Spidey. Get hot. Stop here. It kind of feels a little nasty doing that to a little spiderling. We haven't been authorized right, that doesn't help. All right. <laughs> Let's go for him. All right, spider down. This is so nasty. Those infernal missiles. You know what? I want to fight those. I want to have my enemies run those. Because that would be just fair. Right now, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm a... I'm a bully on the schoolyard saying, saying, hey, you're gonna you're gonna stay here and then we're gonna pummel on you. Look at him. Look at him. Let me let me go. No, no, not quite. Oh he is. And another spider? What is that? Alright, 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 never mind. Speaking of loot here. Also, I need to go. Enemies are on my tail. That guy is running some small lasers. They are special variants. Yup, 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 yup. And the coffin rifle? You are crazy, man. What spider magic is that? All right, let's go here. Take that, Shadowhawk. Also a rifle-based build, so it is also a primitive one, a pirate one. I feel so nasty doing that, honestly. Keep him overheated. Do the same thing again. Okay, so we have a Shadowhawk that is maybe now on the salvage table, on the loot table. Hello, mister. Let's try another one. Okay, SRM is crit. Keep him hot. And clean headshot. <laughs> EZ. Alright, let's go for you. We could also just go for a burst build, like, like, I don't know, SRM dead fire or so. Oh, that will be just a kill here, I guess. Ah, oh, let's go for it. But two of those SRM wrecks already are great! Two SRM6s in Inferno? It just overheats anything! Where's your head? Where's your head? Head is gone! <laughs> it feels like cheating. A little bit. Alright, try to get the head again. Let's go! And that is the last of them! Ha, ah, but there's a second wave. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty. Hmm. I think we have a good build here, guys. Because the thing overheats anything currently. And it has enough damage capacity to go for a headshot. Not in one blow, though. We need a little bit more damage. Maybe higher tier medium lasers in order to go with one alpha strike to get the head component down directly. But let's see. So five enemies. I see a griffin, a hunchback, a shadow hawk again. I wouldn't say no to a shadow hawk. Honestly, I would like to have a shadow hawk. Let's see if we can get one. Okay. Friendlies are engaging. Or another hunchback. The 4P is actually quite good. Lots of energy options there. Sure. Let's go with that. Uh, there's more? Is there another dropship coming down? Or is that the one from earlier? Oh, it seems that there's another one. What? Alright, try to overheat you. I think he is overheated now. I cannot see where his cockpit is because of all the smoke. Uh, Alright, let's go, go around here. Oh god, there's an enemy on my tail. Hi, hunchback. Yeah, as I was saying, it's not quite enough. Come on. There we go. Got him. Oh, my legs are getting destroyed! I should stay in motion, and I still should not be here standing uh, standing still in front of all of those guys, and that's me legged. Oh no. Anyway, I can go for the hawk in the back. It's another chance to get some salvage here. So I think we lost a bit of ammo? Question mark? Leave me alone, enemies. Leave me alone. I just want to get my hawk. The shadowy hawk. Right here. Nope, that was the side torso. Oh, go away with your PPC. With your dirty PPC. Keep that away from me. And you know what? I I'm just gonna go in and brawl with those guys now. I'm gonna shoot everything. Actually, I don't know he's that. That shut down in front of me. I should probably go for it, right? <laughs> Everybody is sleeping! <laughs> you too, my friend. You too. 
Uh, I think it's here, right? Yup, it is. Come on, headshot! Easy. You're gonna stand still. You're gonna just get destroyed, Mr. Enforcer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go all in against that guy. You know, take him out. And then we're gonna deal with our loot options. And shut down. <laughs> Alright, that's a kill. Uh, do I care about you, Mr. PPC Griffin? I feel bad about it. I really do. I mean, seriously. Are we done? Proceed to evac zone. Oh, let's get out of here. We are running a solid 48 kph. We are running assault max speed thanks to the lagging. But hey, we made it. That was a good battle. I really like that. Our blackjack did some things. We had our rifleman also in a pretty good condition still, so that's nice. I want to check out um, what they did actually uh, in terms of damage output and so on. So I hope that they could keep up with what I was doing here. We certainly got the most kills because of all the headshots. Yeah, and in terms of salvage, I mean, we have a good chunk of it. And um, if I could get two of the headshot Shadowhawks, I would gladly add them to our lands. Because um, they will be very cheap to repair. Since they are in pretty good condition still. And that means uh, we can use them as a spare mech whenever we need to. Uh, you know, fill the gaps when we have low tonnage. I have to sadly, sadly repair the Hunchback again. Alrighty, here we go. I may have... Maybe I should have taken the Dervish that was available earlier and just load it with four SRM-6 Inferno and give it to an AI pilot just to overheat things. Not even dealing damage, but just to have some battlefield control. That would be cool. But here we are. There's a Shadowhawk and there's a Griffin. So we can take the 2H. 2H is okay. There is a 2P, the pirate variant, which I don't value so much. Hunchback 4P is available, 4SP is also available. Clean headshot, nice. 4G also headshot, everybody's headshot here. What? Look at all of those guys. I mean, the spider is completely done. Um, But yeah, is it gonna be a Shadowhawk? It's 81 kph, it has a bit more speed than a Hunchback, but the Hunchback has more firepower. This guy has more options though. Hmm. And a little bit more armor. Honestly, I think I want myself another... SRM? I mean, this medium laser build is just amazing. We can slap all the mediums on this. Maybe even one large laser. And use it as an energy-based brawler. I think I'm gonna take a Hunchy. Hunchies are cool. Yeah, 64 kph is all you need. And I think... I think, I think, I think... I'm gonna take a Phoenix Hawk just for money. And then we have four slots left. Let me see what we got here. Anything that we have to pick up for in Cantina mission? The answer is yes. I need seven. Wait, I have seven out of eight. I need one more, so let's take that. And then we have a bunch of single heat things. Uh, small continuous beam lasers. Not really what I want. Hmm. I wonder how they play on a spider like we saw before. You know, a fast striker that just continuously shreds away at your legs. I like that idea. I'm going to take a medium laser and I'm going to take a, an AC-10 and then we are good to go. Maybe it's a PPC instead of the AC-10. Alrighty. Guys, we have another mech. And we collect a jump jet. So we get a flamer as well as single heat sinks, but more importantly we get money and the reputation. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. How, does, how, how much does it cost here? I mean, obviously not in a, in a conflict zone, but the raw payment is um, 327,000. Just to rebuild that thing. And then we have it, basically. It's pretty good. Uh, Stalker's still a little bit damaged. We're gonna repair that guy. We're gonna... Oh, gee, we lost an SRM Inferno? Oh, the corrosive doubles. It's so crazy. Yeah, we need to go somewhere where we can actually do something. Goodbye, corrosive. Hello, double... And lost Inferno ammo, that's okay. I mean, right now, just a regular SRM. And regular SRM ammo. Bam. And I think that's it. Alright. So, Hanji is back in action. Takes 33 days, though. 
Uh, I'm thinking actually going back to uh, to an industrial hub, and I think that's what we're going to be doing, because the other mission that we have here is, is just too low. It's just a six patrol. Level six is not really where we want to go. So I want to go... What's that here? I want to go here. I want to see if I can get something in the cluster up to the top left. Let's see. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, one thing that I was missing... I uh, tuned down the combat music, by the way, the background music, because I still had the settings of my stream, but I have a different playlist running. So, I think we're gonna get it on again. Let's go. I knew some something was missing. Alright, so, here we are. We have a long-term Adi. <laughs> it's a 30-ton weapon. Oh my god. 33 damage. Maximum range is amazing. I need to buy it just for science, guys. Just for freaking science. Was that a continuous discharge, large pulse laser? Continuous discharge, high powered energy weapon, long range, high damage, short duration to concentrate the damage. Hmm. Chain cannons as well, AMSs. I want the long term, but it would be an investment. That I cannot really run yet. Not even on the... Rifleman. No, I cannot run it on the Rifleman. We need to find a mech for it. But you know what? I will buy it. Just to have it. And we're gonna buy ammo for it as well. Alright? Because we have to do the science on them. Is there another Inferno, by the way? Uh, there's also a Thumper Cannon. Very nice. It's kind of like a low-tier AoE weapon. It's kind of an AC5 that splashes. Uh, but we also need ammo for the good old... Come on, where is it? There it is, long term ammo. Ten rounds per. That's a lot. I'm gonna stack up on ammo, stock up on ammo. So we have a little bit. Alrighty, pretty good. They have Ultra Auto Cannon 5 ammo. Is there an Ultra Auto Cannon 5 here? No, they just have the ammo. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at the mechs that we will not pick up. We're gonna take at the barracks and see the pilots that we might want to pick up. Captain you Gagel. Kagel. Actually. Ready, Come in here. And I'm gonna take a look around if there's any rare or hero, but there's none. So I would say are we gonna repair our battle mech. Let me quickly take a look at the market if there are RM Infernos. There is one. I want to keep it as it is. So let's get some more. I'm gonna buy another one of those. Yeah, I'm that kind of guy. Maybe not. Maybe we're gonna use Protos. Or just a heat bank. You don't need much, buddy. Hmm. Alright, guys. We are ready to repair again. So, repair all. Ooh, look at the money. The money is gone. Alright, in order to get this straight here, guys, we need to get rid of one of the mechs. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Hunchback 4G. One second, though. I need to know. We strip it completely. Max the armor. We have 23 tons. Not 30 for the long term. 23. I would love to play a long term on this guy, but no. So we're gonna sell it. Uh, 4G can go, that's very nice. The Phoenix Hawk can go, that's very nice. And I think I want to start building the 4P, just to have it, you know. Small laser gets out. This is just a medium laser boat. It's just all the mediums. Nothing else. Sure, why not? Get that single out, makes armor. Uh, sure, this looks good. This looks extremely good. This is exactly what I would have done here. Maybe I would have done that. But yeah, the rest of the heat sinks are doubles, obviously. Uh, definitely using a heat bank here. <laughs> Is that a thing that I want to play, maybe? Like, I myself? That looks like an interesting thing. Sure, let's put a proto in here as well. Hmm... The rest could be just singles, you know? Just that. Bunch of doubles, two heat banks. Bunch of doubles, bunch of singles. I mean, we probably need to fill it with singles completely. Maybe it's not enough. 
So let's let's uh, get some other thing. Double strength is good. They're pretty expensive, but we have the money. It's another improved heat bank. Sure, I'm gonna buy both of them. More protos and more heat banks. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! The cool thing about the improved heat bank, by the way, is that they are only one slot. So that's really nice. We have four heat bags on this guy. All right. Ooh, those double strengths are good. Let's put him on the legs. This mech is not gonna ever overheat. Ever. All right, that's cool. We have a little bit more. Do we even need to? I guess I have to. Okay, here's what we do. We're gonna put the corrosive in here. <laughs> and another double strength in the leg. And we have another heat bank that we could technically use. I wanna... Do they stack? I hope they stack. Maybe it's just a single. I mean, we got four heat banks. That's such a high heat threshold. I wanna check this out, guys. Let's go. Uh, 64 days, 300,000. We have a new hunchback. The Stalker is back as well with LRM, so that's pretty good. Yeah, probably give it an AI pilot, if ever. And we're gonna repair that thing as well. Haha, <laughs> let's go, guys. So, let me see. Uh, Inferno SRM. Inferno SRM ammo. Um, I think this mech is absolutely fine with adding just another single heatsink instead of anything else. Uh, let's put it on a leg. Yeah. That's okay, guys. Start the work. Right, we have something. And you just, you know, got repaired. So, definitely gonna apply our paint job to all of the mechs that we have. And I think we are ready to go again. I wanna play that hunchback. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, let's see. UDB. Uh, Multimission 24. No. Raid. We can play a low tier raid with just a medium max. Maybe. A tank of defense, 79. That's two war zones. I like the idea. Let's go war zone with the hunchback. I want to see how it how it does. What it does. And if it can uh, overpower enemies quickly. What we need is... Hmm. Instead of the regular medium lasers, I think we need short burst medium lasers. I think they would be better for better DPS. Better cycle time in general. But... Let's go. Oh, I... Could have chosen between two parts of the missions here. Eh, whatever. All right, we're gonna start with the war zone. We're gonna take the higher rated one. Um, both have the same tonnage limit, so that's okay. I want more salvage. All right, we're gonna take this and one, one point two million sea bills and a little, little bit of salvage here. And I definitely, definitely want the four P. <laughs> we're not quite there. We cannot play four max yet. However, uh, you are now Captain Kegel. That's pretty good with high ballistics. I like it. Alright, guys. We're ready to go. 37 days. I'm waiting for it. Let's see if we can manage to overheat the mech. I mean, this is Barodul. I'm always able to overheat anything. I could overheat a glacier. So, let's see. So, heat bank science. Theoretically, we should have an amazing heat threshold, so when we fire, the, the heat bar will just creep up very slowly. Because, relatively speaking, the threshold is unlimited. Um, and we have, I think, decent cooling as well. Okay, here we go. Yes, thanks, Rihanna. I know, I know, I know. So, uh, we have, what, 216 meters, so we need to get a bit closer in order to start the fire here. I know it's a brawler that we are running again. But hey, it's a good one. 19% heat coming out of there. I mean, if it stops moving around that much. Oh, this is such a great laser show. I love it. Damage-wise, uh, I'm not sure about it, though. Because our... Whoa. Where did you come from? Got wrecked. Got wrecked. Perfect. Um, because of the laser burn time, we will spread the damage against those fast movers quite significantly. And the 
Attack! Here we go. Hey, the guy was on our list as well. That's pretty good. Cool thing is that we are, again, we are hunchback. We are somewhat fast. That's pretty good. So 64. You know, it's, I would say, it's kind of heavy mech territory where we are right now in terms of our speed. But I don't mind. Alright, let's start the event. Checkpoint Alpha, 200 meters. Here we go. 15 enemies to kill. Let's do it. But I can see the mech actually being used by an AI pilot or something like that. I'm thinking also that maybe we're gonna drop a heat bank or two. Just use the double heat sinks that we have just to have a, like a good cooling overall. And uh, with the freed up weight, we're gonna give it one... Um, what's it called? How? One long range weapon, like a large laser or a PPC or something. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of the blast radius. Uh, here's a stinger. And it's not a stinger for long anymore. And here you can see the long cycle time of the weapon. I need a short burst laser build here. Makes it way more... Way more interesting. But you can see when we are fighting a little bit longer, when I'm continuously shooting, our heat threshold, our heat bar, is creeping up slowly. Yeah, they will be here in no time. Ah, you got this. You have long range. I'm not gonna even bother. Alrighty, get that scorpion, man. Can do it. Very nice. And this is one of the things that I like on the Blackjack, for example. It has some medium lasers, but it also has that PPC that it can use at long range to destroy those tanks easily. Maybe a double PPC build to be a bit more reliable with the tank kill. Because I think a Scorpion has 15 hit points or so? Uh, I think you need more than one PPC shot to kill it. That's what I mean. And having a double PPC to kill a tank in one blow, that's, that's efficiency. Enemy forces continue okay. to converge on your location. It's pretty easy so far. Okay, that's nice. My legs are getting fresh, though. We are, after all, um, attracting a lot of fire because our damage output is quite bursty. But we got him. Very nice. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep smashing. Smashing the enemies, that is. There's so many cool combos to discover here in this game. This is what I love about the variety that the mods bring. The uh, the weapon mods and, of course, pirate tech. Alright. So, here's a score. I couldn't kill him. Because I was not in optimal range. That's a manticore. No, wait, a pattern? Oh, <gasps> look at that! That's a pattern! That's interesting. Haven't seen a pattern yet. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, you said I should take the scary tank mod. Um, I, I completely forgot about that. I didn't really check it out yet. It's on my list. Pattern down. Then there is another Scorp over there. And after that, I think they will bring three VTOLs and two mechs down. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right, because that's usually one of the last waves. Three more vehicles, two more mechs. I might be wrong, but I've seen that so often recently. Like, the last five enemies. Like a nice mix of everything. That's a Vindicator. That's another Vindicator. Where are the VTOLs? There they are! Called it. And it, those are actually scary VTOLs. Ah, problems. My arms are not very suited for destroying those. But we got the tools of weapons. Ah, it's three mechs and two VTOLs. Alright, anyway. Combo was the right, right call here. So this Vindicator is already damaged, so we're gonna try to take the guns off the board. Ooh, that PPC scramble actually threw me off with my aim. Good. And then this guy. Didn't quite get him. Oh, he's angry at me. Come on, there we go. And now we can shoot this guy. Now my, my fire pattern is a little bit off, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna wait for a nice alpha strike opportunity again. And we're gonna go in. Bit of repair cost though on my hunchy. 
That's all the kills we need, Commander. But the mission was easy. It was pretty good. So we negotiated for a little bit of money and a little bit of salvage. Damage report. Ooh, the riflemen also attracted a lot of fire here. Probably coming from the Vindicators because they were in a good position to deal some upfront long range damage with their PPCs and their long range missiles. Um, but yeah, that worked out quite nicely. With only three mags, but we should really try to get the fourth mag on the battlefield because just having another set of guns on the field makes such a big difference. You know, just having raw numbers is usually better than having a single mag that has more tonnage and armor. Because you can just kill faster. That's a good kill. Nice. Alright, let's go. Rifleman, I don't want you to take any more damage, please. If you can avoid it, stop shooting now. <laughs> Alright. So, that was good. That was a nice little experiment here. I also have the Centurion in our storage. And I'm not entirely sure if I really want to play that thing. If I want to bring it to life. Since, ideally, I want to take bigger max now. You know, get some money. Get some... Something that is just bigger that can run the long term. Because I need to check that out. So, we will take a spider for money. We're gonna take a PPC. Never mind, we're gonna take some short burst lasers. That's exactly what I wanted. And a tier 1 medium as well. Yeah, let's go. Let's. No, wait. Let's take two tier 1 medium lasers. Very nice. Alrighty, there is, as I was saying, there's another mission here. It's another war zone. I think I wanna play it as well. That was quite a nice run. Um, question is, do we take the Rifleman or do we take our Hunchback here? We could actually take the Stalker and the Hunchy to the, to the fight. Spider 5v, yeah, just go. Just go. <laughs> Centurion takes, sadly, a lot of money to repair. That's 1 million Seabills and that's the raw cost, not even including, um, you know, our uh, war zone, conflict zone penalty. So a million Seabills just to have a Centurion on the board. I think I'd rather sell this guy. And we're gonna try to figure out if we are like if we can find a heavy mech. Or maybe an assault mech that can run the long term later. Alright. So that's what we do. Therefore, we're gonna play another mission. And it's gonna be the war zone. Right here. I should go for money in that K. Did, should I? The spider gave us a good amount of money. I'll take the 15 plus the 1.5 mil. Seems like a good idea. And... I mean, technically, we can take the Stalker instead of the Rifleman. Why not? No, it's only 10 days to repair that thing. Let's go. And uh, the other pilot can also train a little bit with missiles at this point. Do I want to play the Stalker myself, maybe? Sure. Let's do that. Have a Hunchback. Let's go. Let's go Stalker. Let's go with the big guy. I mean, we rebuilt the build, and um, I don't know if it's good. <laughs> we'll see about it. Now we have LRMs, we have a bunch of mediums, and we have a pair of larges, I believe. And I hope that we have a crap ton of heat sinks. <laughs> Again, we can just play the same thing that we did on the Hunchback with the Stalker, just getting a lot. A, sec. a lot of, um, what's it called? Heat bags. Alright. I need to rearrange my weapon groups real quick. Because everything is messed up. Alright, we got it. Um, Alpha Strike. I mean, 33%. It was an alpha, I know. I didn't shoot the missiles, but I think the energy weapons are the most important ones to take uh, into consideration here. Yeah. So funny when we lag a locust that they are still gliding. This is okay heat management, I would say. Javelin. Yo, team, are you coming? There, there are enemies to kill. Hello? Target destroyed. Where did the locust go? 
Oh no. I think we have to try to catch it. Oh, there he is. Okay, never mind. Hey, Locust. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Go ahead, kill that jab. We have some missiles here for him. Some laser beams. This build is way better than the other one that we had before. It's way more manageable. Uh, I want the tank down quickly, so we're gonna destroy some of those barricades to see. Getting vision here is crucial. Uh, anyway, we have to move around. Fine. Ugh, got him. Alrighty. 19 targets. I love... Warzone missions with slow max like the stalker here because the enemies will just come to you. You have to go nowhere The only maneuverability that you need is you know traversing in the battle zone a little bit. That's it No walking a hundred thousand miles towards the enemies All right, that's just a stinger. There are also some flyers coming Okay Going in with the lasers. I'm actually getting shot by the guy right next to me. I should take care of that. Who's that? Ooh, a stinger with machine guns. It stings. Stop it. Thank you. And then there's another one. Wait, I was expecting more from a mission like that. You know what? I think the next few missions that we take are some of these special missions coming from Coyote. is good. It is very good. It's very manageable. And I mean, we got 25 missiles. That's alright. So, did we get everybody? Is there another wave coming? The answer is yes and yes. Cool. Very nice. So, turn around. That's a real opponent. Yeah, give it to me. Keep in mind, guys, we also have not upgraded any of our mechs yet. Also, this this tree was very explosive. <laughs> so, we can also make the Stalker better by getting some of these Cantina upgrades. Alright, we are in large laser range now. So, let's give him hell. We got him. Easy. Maybe a little bit too easy. Alright, E-Stinger. Man, those missiles are, are just gold in a scenario like that. Where the enemies are, you know, running towards you in a straight line over open terrain. And you just like, you know what? You will never arrive on the front line. Some tanks. Got it. And there's another tank behind us. Uh, he will come in soon enough. It's a harasser, so he will be fast. Uh, let's go for the other guys. Man, trees. My worst enemy, as always, is trees. Or terrain in general. Mm -hmm. But I actually do like that you can just hide in the trees and they will actually block some of the, of the bullets. Of the projectiles. Because trees provide cover in a combat scenario. I think it should be like that. Alright. Some trees down. Didn't quite get the tank. Ah, there we go. So, what about the harasser on the other side of the battlefield? It didn't come towards us. Not yet. Maybe he's lost. Maybe he's intimidated by our Tango massive firepower. Oh, it's a J. Edgar. That's what it was. Not an harasser. And another one. And one more. And down it goes. Um, I wonder if there were enemies. Yep, there was something coming from that side. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna use the lasers here. It's faster than those lock-on weapons. And down they go. So, next up. Uh, that's a fire starter. That's actually somewhat scary. But it's the last two enemies. Just light max here. And the Vindicator. No, the occasional Vindicator. Uh, and that's a Raven, actually. Scrambling my sensors! 
I can set my ECM to counter, though. To counter his ECM. Uh, I press J, the button J on my keyboard, by the way, to do that. Hey, Raven, stop it, please. Okay. So that's down. His ECM is down. I'm gonna set my ECM to disrupt again. So that their hit chance is lower now. And then it's just the little starter of the fires. Beautiful. Oh, bonus pay? Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> I want to go back because I'm here for salvage and raw money. So in a Warzone mission, of course, you can stay longer. You can grind all the Seabills like you want. Um, and I've, I've tried that. I have been uh, playing with some uh, friends uh, on stream. And we were trying to get as many bonus payment points and many Seabills as possible. Stay as long as possible without losing components. Uh, all of our ammo was gone. Our mechs looked very damaged. And we got about 2 million Seabills extra pay. And we took like 15 minutes extra time. This mission here took me 5 minutes to get salvage and about 1.5 million Seabills. So I would rather spend 5 minutes for like a full mission than staying longer in a war zone. I think those numbers need to be adjusted. So we'll take the fire starter. Um, an SRM, why not? And we're gonna take the money as well. Very little repair cost. We also killed three javelins now, which gives us an auto cannon to burst fire. Pretty good. Nice. Quick cell collection specialist. Now, what is that? Negative internal structure, but reduced refit. Ballistic damage. Sphere. Heat capacity. Weapon damage. Missile heat. Energy damage, ballistic heat, missile damage, energy heat, and heat generation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we got quick sell here. Yeah, cool. Guys, I would say that was a good run. We recovered from our problems that we had before, and now we are up and running again. We have another hunchback added to our lands, and we can probably sell the fire starter. Maybe not. Maybe I want to try some of these uh, short range rotary rifle thingies you know those miniguns that i haven't tried yet so we're gonna keep the fire starter exclusively for that but that has been it for today everybody i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye